Good afternoon, good evening everyone. Happy 4th of July for those of you who celebrate. Happy day to every single one of you and thanks for tuning in as a Black Butterfly expat. I would like to talk to you about a few things. I told you I'll be bringing up a new video. This video is about Tijuana. In preparation for those of you who have been contacting me and who have been leaving comments on some of my other videos about moving to TJ yourself. Some of you are considering moving into TJ within this year, some next year, and some a few years from now. But there are many things that you can do each year and every day to prepare for the move okay um i've been back now for 11 months from tijuana tijuana rosarito my last place thing i was in rosarito now i mentioned tj a lot because you know that more people know about tijuana but you also need to look about look at rosarito Rosarita is beautiful, beautiful place for her to retire, beautiful place to just, if you want like a, it's, it's big, but yet it's little. It's, I guess you just got to see it. It's big, but it's little. So you would have to go check it out. Maybe a place that you like, or if you like to go even further, you can go to Ensenada. Bear with me for a second, y'all. I have to change up the sound right here. Just tune in and listen to how peaceful this is area is this is actually i caught it before um the shopping mall was open but this is nice and it'd be like so many families and everything it's just a little shopping center actually but um check it out and listen to the sounds of the birds <laughs> i love me some nature and then get your pen and paper and get ready to take some notes i got some information some golden nuggets up in here for you thanks for tuning in like butterfly accent Sometimes, y'all, I be all over the place with my video. So, you know, bear with me, bear with me. Um, what is to tell you about, like, preparing for TJ? Some of you are preparing. Some of you say you want to go here next year. Some of you are looking forward to doing this in a few years. Some of you want to go alone. Some of you are all um, considering bringing your family. And I just wanted to answer a few questions that some of you had about moving and making that move. There are many things that you can do in the meantime before moving to Tijuana, like preparing and learning the language. There's many ways that you can learn the language. You can do the Babel, you can do the Duolingo, but you can also do it on your own. Those, yeah, that's cool. I mean, you know, you can add that on with some other stuff, but I also like the, the app italki, the letter I-T-A-L-K-I. -I. That app right there, um, you go to that site and you can actually work with a live with a live tool with a live tutor okay and you can either get it like a teacher type you know one who actually teach depending on you know how well how you learn what you're learning how you everybody learn differently i learned with someone who was a local and i uh, made sure i chose somebody who was going to be able to teach me spanish from mexico because you have options mexico you can do spanish from spain or, you know, wherever it is that you're going. So I chose someone, a local from Mexico, who was able to do conversational type of teaching 
for me. I wanted to know about learning everyday things like numbers, me being able, we, we would have, we would act out a scene of me going to the grocery store and asking for help or me going to a clothing store and asking where is the dressing room, you know, everyday live things, situations that I would may be in that I would need to be able to know and learn Spanish. I still do not know Spanish fluently. I hate that I haven't been practicing like I should. I don't have nobody to really practice, but I got a few people in the neighborhood and they do, they be on me too about Spanish. Like they speak to me in Spanish. The one the other day he was asking me, he saw me on the bike and he was like, oh, Oh my God, I can't say it, but I know it when I hear it. I understand it more when I hear it. But he was asking me, oh, you're getting your exercise. And I was like, see, see. <laughs> so don't trip if you don't know it fluently, but do get to know the language. You're going to meet some wonderful people and make some long lasting relationships. Really great, great people. But it's just going to be some things coming from America that you're going to have to change. You know what I'm saying? We don't be flashy. I don't like that flashy stuff. My flashy friends, if I hadn't mentioned that already, would not be able to cross our, you know, fast, I would say associates. You wouldn't be able to make it with me in Mexico. You'd get us jacked, okay? We don't do the flashy. We don't pull out our wallets. We don't do the going to the ATM, pulling out a whole bunch of money, getting ready to throw it around and all that. Don't do all that flashy bar talk or, you know, the one who get all cocky when they start drinking and they turn into Geronimo or whatever. And you that man, you don't, I'm not American. All that bossy stuff that Americans be carrying, shut that off. If this is a place that you want to come to and live, you got to come here and you got to respect the country, respect the people. You can't go to Mexico, to TJ and Rosarita thinking that um you're going to be changing some laws and rules and regulations. Don't go there with the expectancy thinking that it's going to be like America. If you want to, it to be like America, then stay in America, in America, in the United States, if that's what you want. But it's, it's not. It's going to be a lot of things that you're going to have to adjust to if it's a place that you want to move to just keeping it real you got traffic right here in this clip right here you got this is this is this is nothing this is a little bit of traffic of people going back into the u.s um probably going to work going to u.s from from tj and rosarita further back this is just the cars and you have the uh, section where if you are crossing by by foot and this is, like I said, this is nothing right here. It would be way past than that. So you also want to look into getting a Century card. Uh, S-E-N-T-R-I. Look into getting a Century card. Uh, sometimes it can take up to a year. Don't worry about the time. If this is something that, too, you know you're planning on doing a few years from now, go ahead and get that started now or, you know, in a year from now, whatever. Get that Century card. Get your passport. It is best that you have one. You don't have to have to have one kind of ways around it but if you want to go there you want to move there you want to move around you may want to travel throughout other parts of mexico because it's men what we see is absolutely nothing compared to the beauty that they have further and beyond past some of the places that i've been y'all i can't y'all y'all i've already heard about it. like i can't wait i've seen real live pictures and videos of people out of some of my friends they phones and showing me family members that really live in some parts that you just can't oh <laughs> it's beautiful you'd have to see it yourself now another thing about okay so this is the border right here and this clip right here standing in line if you was to stand there this it was this is a quiet line right here it's a quiet line um let me see if i'm gonna get y'all my hear some of my papers as I am recording here. Oh, let me tell you all about recording. When you're recording, I, I come across some of the videos of people recording in around Revolution in the Tijuana area and stuff like that. And I'll be like, oh, I'm a YouTuber or I'm this or whatever. There's a lot of places, especially in Zona Norte, that they do not like you recording. If you are recording and you're recording the women and like there's women there y'all there's children there there's women yeah they doing anything whatever you know it's it's legal in a red light district but it is disrespectful and they do not like cameras that is i do not recommend um i do not recommend recording in those areas at all past this right here past this arc right here you will not see me recording most videos who have people who do record there they're doing it undercover don't think that people don't find you on youtube they find you they know how to find you 
they have a problem with you, don't make it clear. You can put heat on you by doing things like that. I make sure I respect the women and especially the children. As much as I possibly can, I try not to get children or like too close where they can be identified. They can't, you know, just out of respect for as being a film filmmaker myself, you know. But uh, yeah, just have respect for others. Have respect for the women. Have respect for the, the officers there and, and play your cards. Play your cards how you're supposed to. Play them right. You know what I'm saying? Again, have respect for the country and you'll be fine. It is, um, it's not legal marijuana. I don't know what you heard. It's not legal in Mexico. For those of you who smoke, you don't have to keep that on the low, low. You know what I'm saying? That's your business if you do. I personally just recently quit. I've just had some, I don't, I don't already i don't trust the food in the united states so like the dispensaries are like i don't know i've been hearing a lot of different things about them and um just having some reactions that i'm not feeling so yeah i, I just left that alone plus like i don't want to be around when i go back looking for it and i found other ways to just come to a calm and I, it was just time for me to just go ahead and let it go so i let that go again y'all this video will be all over the place but hang in there with me <laughs> I will get to probably one of the questions that you have had and if I don't get it in this video leave a question in the comments also make sure you pause me right quick pause me take a pause and hit that like button thanks for being here I haven't been making videos on the regular regular but I will be back as much as I possibly can but right now like I told you I am in preparation I am in my preparation season for the move for when the time is right i have some legal things i need to handle got some paperwork i need to get together and everything like that and also i like to come and work and stack while i'm here so i can i like to pay ahead of time when i get over there i get get into my apartment or whatever and i'd be like yeah i hear six months ahead of rent they love that you can do that it ain't nothing hard about doing that so that comes to my so one of the questions I had about people, someone was asking about how do you find apartments there? If you're in the San Diego area and you're like one who's just going to cross over and look around, a lot of places that you will find are post, you know, like people post out for rent and you can ask some of the locals. And also I do use Facebook Marketplace. I've had people who have personally found them some good places on facebook marketplace just do not send money ahead of time before you go out there or none of that make sure you go and look because it can look real nice on the inside and everything but you might not like the area or feel comfortable in the area that's one thing about tj2 like you can be looking around like a lot of their the way that they do things the beauty of things is hidden it's on the inside it don't be on the outside so it just depends on you on what you like and what you're comfortable with also sometimes like i don't have a car so i've looked at places and homes but it would be hard for me to like it was up on top of a mountain somewhere and that would have been hard for me to get to and so i had to make a change but you can look on facebook marketplace um I also will try, if I don't do it tonight, I'm going to come back into the description. So check that back later on. I'll write down a couple of people I personally met that are um, with Century 21. So you have that too. Uh, also, you can. there's groups on Facebook, okay? You can go to Rosarita Living that's a group on fb you can get a lot of information through that group okay you can also ask a lot of questions they're posting also gringos living in rosarita okay so you can get a lot of questions may occur again they post about homes and everything like that remember these groups are open to the public anybody really can get in the group so you never know who's in there or just watching people be cautious about what you ask for i don't know why some americans y'all be wanting pop y'all on the side of the ear because i'm like what are you some of the things you be saying and asking i'm like in our information oh i just opened up an account at this such and like come on man like some things just don't put it out there be quiet about it you know what i'm saying like some things be cautious what you're doing some of y'all eggs for trouble like you just be so openly i think we were kind of really sadly trained in some ways in negative ways to be so open and to be doing things like that that we really really shouldn't so be careful with that but like being telling people too much but these groups are really great and very good for information um just wanted to point that out um there is a let's see 
keep hearing the name Oscar Torres when renting. Um, I can't remember what company he's with. I'll look into that a little bit later on and try to post that later. There's many, many things that you can do in Rosarita that I love so much about being there when it comes to fishing and surfing. There's a surfing spot right up on the main street right here. When you go turn to the right right there where the people walk where they walking if they go if you go straight there's a little cute little uh spot where you can go and um take some surfing classes you meet them in the morning and then y'all go out to the ocean and it's very reasonable there's also a spot right there where you can do the atv you can rent the cars and ride through there's so many things you can do right there on the beach horseback riding and it's just so much, so much, so much. Oh, let me, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. So pretty much the same way you hear me talk now is the way I really talk in real life. So, I mean, I can apologize, but I'm really not apologizing for who I am. Sometimes my conversations with people, there's be all over the place. Like, I be talking about one thing and then I jump into another thing. So you're really going to have to just pay attention to follow me. Like, because I got notes right now, but I'm going to still be like in how I, how I be doing me. And I'm just doing me. But thank you for being here. <laughs> That's why I'm so grateful that I have the subscribers and my people. I have my people with me and y'all be following me and stuff like that because I like to just be myself. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, I'm just being me and I'm just talking to my peeps. I'm just talking to y'all right now. Just sharing y'all sharing y'all some of these gems. So look, I want to get back to the italki app. There's a few things that I want to tell you. You can learn any language on there. But since we're talking about going to Mexico and we're talking about learning Spanish, specifically on Spanish, like I said, it's an online learning platform. And you they will charge you by the hour as low as $6. Now, pay attention. Some of them, it might say a trial. Okay, so just be like the basic stuff like that. $5, $6, $10 an hour. Um, some of the trials might be real free. They might have a free trial. Just pay, just look at the thing. It'll tell you right there straight up. And you go, like I said, you'll work with a live tutor. Okay. And, um, just again, make sure if it's for Mexico that you're looking because the dialect and different things can be different. If you're looking for somebody for Mexico or for somebody for Spain or, oh my God, Puerto Rico, don't give me that. Ooh, Puerto Rico, Spanish. Oh my God. Oh, y'all get excited when I start talking about foreign things and foreign everybody. Oh my God. This is the most I have smiled since I have been here like ever. <laughs> this whole year so anyways yes yeah, so that app is awesome to you to learn about your everyday also you can just go on youtube too and you want to know you want to learn the most important things numbers you want to learn about money you i did that y'all before that first time i moved out there i learned about pesos the exchange of pesos understanding what the a dollar amount exchanges to for the pesos learning about the atm i have a video too about the atm i'm about to find that so i can put that in a description or or um bring that video back again for you all so i can show you about the atm because it'd be in spanish and then sometimes some of this they be different some of them might ask you do you want spanish or do you want english or sometimes it'd be in spanish with real small english underneath don't be going around asking nobody how do you use the atm this is the type of things i'm talking about when y'all out that's why i'm be recommending a lot of y'all to just be out there partying or going out at night and me like you know like i be doing because this is the type of silly stuff y'all be doing y'all you like that you need to stay in the house you need to just stay inside because <laughs> that's silly i'm not about to ask no random person would you do that in the united states no how do you use the atm that's so silly these it is your responsibility to learn to be able to do these things okay you need to know how to do that yourself so learn about those things those are things that you can be doing right now in preparation to get there you know what i'm saying before you get there so um let's see also yeah learn about pesos learn about the exchange learn about numbers learn about being you want to be able to hear numbers money all that okay very very important learn about the type of foods you can start looking you can, you can start on a kindergarten level on a real small level learn about the type of foods that you like learn go on youtube and do the kids videos about fruits and vegetables and naming different things like that and practicing that daily in your house learning how to say bed learning how to say couch different words that you're going to use every day on a daily you know what i'm saying so also 
let's see something i want to share my notes too oh when we go back to looking at rentals when you're looking at the rental especially on a marketplace make sure you pay attention about the rentals if it's some of now some of it you can change it some of it might be in pesos which it, it looks like incredibly a lot it'll be like eight thousand pesos or something like that and then but you already have your translator or you can just go to google and see eight thousand pesos into dollars what is that for dollars so you don't um that's really cheap but you can start looking at places like that go there also make sure you pay attention to if it's like a rental weekend if or if it's per night or or if it's for the month they specifically tell you to pay attention to that also yeah they have studios that be furnished that's already furnished and ready to go for like five hundred dollars you might want to start off like that or something like that when you just there and you start off like that and you can do some of them do not do, when they that short they don't they don't have like a, a commitment of how long to rent it for and you can start like that so you can it'll give you a chance to look around for something bigger and better that's what i did at one point too so you can also do that just pay attention to what you're reading. There is a way that you can translate it because most of the time it'll be in Spanish, but you can translate it into English so you can see what you're reading. You can see the qualifications. Um, make sure you also really um, see some of the, sometimes they request no pets. If you have pets, you want to make sure. I've even some that would say no kids. Hey, they, they don't want no kids in their place. They don't want no kids in their place. I know it sounds kind of wood. I don't think they really do that too much over here in the United States. But, hey, if they don't want no kids, then they don't want no kids. So, pay attention. <laughs> then pay attention to that also. Um, you can check and see about security. Do they have security cameras? Do they have armed security? I love the places where they be having armed security and the gated communities and all that. That is cool, y'all. They be, oh, they be lit. So yeah, my next time around over there, I'll really be show I'll really be showing y'all some spots in in the communities going deep down, going back to these malls. I didn't get to go to that big big mall. I forgot the name of it. It was a new mall being built. Well, it's not super new. It's like uh probably two couple of years now. Super big. They got all the stores, all the all the stores. They got Gucci. They got Chanel. They got all them over there. So um. Yeah, yeah, you want to look into that. Also, you may also want to get some information from the FCC.gov on international calling tip sheet on how to, because if you, you may want to already want to call these people to get some information or something like that, how to use the, how to call to Mexico, you dial 011 and the country code is 52 and then whatever area code, usually for T1 is 664. But um, you can look that up on the internet. Again, FCC.gov for international calling tips. Just Google it. How do I call from my phone to Tijuana? And you can communicate with people. But a lot of them already will have American phone numbers. So you can call. I, again, like I said, I like to go down there and I like to look at the property and look around. Let me tell you something about um, certain areas. They do go sometimes where the water is cut off and there's no water. And it can... I, I've dealt with that for up to four days one time. Four days, we didn't have running water, okay? They'll have these big tanks, water reserve tanks. Some of the places, your places, will have them already. And some of them, they expect for you to get it. Or some of them don't even tell you. And then you just be out there with no water. Because you don't know the, how it go. But it do be like that sometimes in Rosarita. So, and you, it's not like what well, you can call them and be like, oh, my water is off. The water's off. We don't have water and complaining about no water. It be like that sometimes, okay? You just got to wait till they turn it back on again. So, you'll have like that. I forgot what they call it. It's in Spanish. But the big old tank that I have a lot of water in it for you to, for your baths and everything like that. You can have that reserved and you make sure you always have drinking water on deck you do not drink the water there don't drink the water you cannot drink the water just always always have oh make sure you got a backup plan for having backup water i always would have my drinking water and i had the um other jugs because i didn't have that big tank i didn't have room for that big big tank i was in an apartment and i didn't have room in the patio for that but yeah just expect that that happens sometimes um 
it's just life you know what i'm saying but again yeah don't drink the water okay don't drink the water we all know that we've been seeing that in movies and everybody be cracking jokes about not drinking the water yeah still not drinkable like you know i even would use water bottles for my teeth when i first got there and then after a while i would brush my teeth with it without drinking oh my god i missed that restaurant gobies y'all i'm probably gonna actually repost this clip right here again because in this video i was leaving mexico and i was talking about leaving mexico and just like everything i had learned from there i wasn't ready to leave oh my god but i knew it was time to go into whatever it is that god had for me to do and come here in this this year and this time that i've been here but uh, i think that's just about a lot of what I wanted to talk about, a lot of you, too, just have been stressed about being out here, being in the USA, having to try to come up with all this money and stuff for rent, and people are doing all kind of things now. They are in relationships that they do not want to be in just to try just because of financial reasons. And who the heck got time for that? I know I don't. So, yes, I just want a simple life. I never wanted a whole bunch of, I'm not paying thousands and thousands of dollars to live nowhere. Even if I had it like that, I'm not giving it for that. Nope, nope. And food out here is freaking outrageous how much it costs to freaking eat every day. And it don't be like that over there. Now, depending on where you go, they do have some fancy restaurants and fancy things going on, too. Where you can go in a restaurant and pay, you know, like how you would here do in the States. But on the average, when I would go somewhere, I'm paying $8, $9. And they be, they be, they be, man, they don't be like, um greedy with their food amount and stuff a lot of times when i would get a plate of food that would be for my lunch and my dinner or if for my dinner and i've remixed it in the morning with some eggs and i have plenty i love though mostly going to the grocery store yo i would be balling at the grocery store sometime with 50 dollars and just getting different items and everything that i needed and carrying on you feel me so uh yeah as far as making money i can't tell you all how to specifically make money no you can't legally supposed like you know can't work you're not supposed to be able to work in mexico there's ways around things you know maybe you i mean you can you just gonna need to brainstorm and think about the different things that you'll be able to do or the different businesses that you can offer and talk to different people this is why you need to make friends and meet other people maybe you can bring a business there you know what i'm saying or if you want to cross back and forth, you can find out again about getting your Century card, so that'll make it easy for you. You can cross over Las Americas. The last video I did, there's a shopping center there. I worked at a store there at one time. There's a bunch of different places you can work at. And the way that things are so much cheaper in Mexico, I know a lot of people who work three to four days in the, in the United States, and they come back and they just live their whole life on the rest of the days. <laughs> that's all i gotta work to be able to pay for everything that that needs to be paid for so it's so much that can that can be done i can't tell you how to do your life and everything like that some of us just have to figure out the way <laughs> what's going to work for you but uh yeah also somebody was asking me about amazon delivery there i'm strict there is mexican amazon but for us Americans, it is easier for you to get a P.O. box over there near the border, right? Right when you, you could just walk over, right over across, you get to San Diego. There are places where you can get your P.O. box and you can get your Amazon delivered right there. And, and I can talk later on in the video how about to, how to carry yourself again. Please don't be on no silliness and you got your boxes and everybody can see that as an Amazon box and we were discreet. Pay attention to the other people around you. People are discreet. They're not loud with everything. All man can only take from you because they know what you got. And a lot of times in America, that's what y'all be about. Y'all be about, oh, look what I got. Look at my car. Look at my teeth. Look at my money. Look at my shoes. Look at my... <gasps> like, dang. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> So be safe and do things. Do things accordingly and you're going to be good, okay? But that's another video for another time, for another date. You know what I'm saying? So I'll talk more in a more video, in uh, another video, in a future video. Um, 
I wish I could add timestamps, but it wouldn't even make sense the way I be talking and all over the place. I hope that you were able to keep up with me in this conversation. Like I said, this is how I be in real life. This is how I be with my people. They be like, wait, Andrea, slow down. Like, all right, most of the people that I do be or that I choose to be around, which is not very many, they follow me, they love me, and they love my energy, and they love being around me, and they understand that this is all love. I enjoy making these videos, y'all. I enjoy sharing these nuggets with you and hoping that, you know, I can make your trip a little bit easier. I heard you, I hope that you got at least one thing out of this video that can help you into your future endeavors and to whatever it is that you decide to do. So go over there and I hope to see you there one day. Maybe we'll meet right here at the beach and we can bust a coconut and <laughs> I love it right here, y'all. I love that. That is so live. Y'all get so excited when I see this. Oh my god. <laughs> It's heaven, and I understand why every day I have to pay like a major price to get back there, man, and why I have went through the things that I went through while I was there to learn the way. Like, it wasn't no easy thing for me at all, and none of this coming easy for me, and I will go through whatever I have to go through because it is my heaven. It is my peace. I love me some Tijuana. I fell in love with Tijuana a long time ago, a long time ago. Yeah, just can't get enough of your love, baby. Mm, I love you. I love you, Tijuana. Look at that. You can just go there and just get a bunch of candy, sit on the beach. People just be living. People just be minding their own business and just doing their thing. It's so much love. The kids, I love to see how the kids, they just be laughing, enjoying their life. and It's just simple. I don't know, CNN and all the people y'all be watching, your little friends or whatever, that's, that, they don't be telling you the whole story of how they be acting, how they be doing stuff. Whenever they be talking about crime be happening. I live in Houston, Texas. Not only is this is the city of STDs now. Jesus. Woo -hoo, hallelujah for being Sullivan. And also, um, crime, y'all. Like, three or four people got shot yesterday. They looking for a killer. Looking for a... My bad. There were some great bits that were out here. And just doing crazy things. Oh, my God. So, like, can't nobody tell me about no crime nowhere. Because there is crime everywhere. And it is... Houston, Texas, this, oh, Lord, this is a dirty town. I don't even look at it. Don't even look. Don't even give me the Google eye. They might try to give me something with their eyes. I don't even look at me. When I see a man, I run. You better ask somebody. So, anywho, yeah, I'm just on my holiness until it's time for me to ride up out this piece. I miss you, Tijuana. Oh, te amo, te amo, Tijuana. I love you. I miss you. Bye, Mexico, and I will see you real soon. Bye, everybody. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.